how to make tables using Microsoft Word. Now, in this demo, I'm using Microsoft Word 2011 for Macintosh, which has got some uh, functionality that uh, not every version of Word has. If yours doesn't, you should look up in the table menu for it because it, a lot of the, the stuff is found up here. So a lot of the um, features I'm going to show you are shortcuts. For example, we could draw a, ta a table using this shortcut here. If I want, say, a 3x3 three three table, I can just click over here and it automatically creates the thing. So that's a pretty quick way to make a very basic table. You can also go up to the table menu select this and say three, three, three columns, three rows and go like that. And you get the same thing, right? Uh, so you might have to poke around a bit. It varies from version to version. But that's a pretty basic table. That's pretty easy to create it. And you can just type uh, in any of these cells and um, there it will word wrap for you like that and the table automatically changes size depending on what you put in it. Um, if you drag these bars up here you can resize it. Also if you drag here right see how the, the cursor changes shape. Um, you can change the shape of the cells by dragging here as well. So there are various um, ways of changing the shape of a table. Now, good shortcut for quick formatting. By the way, if you click in a table, it, at the top left corner, this little icon shows up. And if you click it, it selects the whole table. Now you can apply some of these pre-made uh, these pre-made formatting things to the table if you like. So I'm on the tables tab here and you can scroll around and you can get different options and they do different things. Um, so this top row is generally for headers and then so really how, how this would work is you'd have a bunch of data down here and then you have some kind of title over here. Title for the column except that you would type it better than that, right? Um, you can control lines over here, borders over here by choosing how you want these to look. So let's add a right border to this, right? Um, we could add a left border to this one. It's a dashed line. It's showing a dashed line because I was monkeying around before and I chose the dashed line. But if I selected this and did it, now we can get a um, a solid line where I was just clicking. So you can control lines, you can control, you can select a layout. If you want to control the shading of a board of the cells, you can choose this tool. So let's say I wanted to make this red, which isn't a very orange, which isn't a very good idea, but that's how you can control the background colors of your table. So that's just kind of some basic monkeying around. How I, you know, in a real work environment, that's not exactly how I usually wind up approaching it. Um, I will tend to have um, some text that I'm working on and I'll decide to make a table out of it. I'll decide that it's not really working as text or I can I, 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 I um, want to get some additional functionality out of it. So let's, uh, for example, let's go to, here's some song lyrics, right? Now one of the uses in the music industry that I use tables for is creating lyric sheets for use during recording sessions. Let me find it for you. I'll find a, um, a finished version so you can see what we are building towards. All right, so here, for example, is a lyric sheet. The idea is that I print this before I do um, a recording of this song. And these are all different takes. Take one, take two, take three. I'm a bad singer, so I have to do a lot of takes. And um, after I do a take, I can make a notation about, you know, with a pencil, right, uh, whether it was good or bad or if it was one that I want to keep. And I have, little, I have a little key down here, right? So um, 
record the whole song, listen back to it, say, oh, this one was good, and this one was bad, and this one was bad, and this one was bad, but this one was good, right? And then uh, we record another take. We do it again. And we say, uh, this one was bad, and this one was good, and then the engineer can cut this one and combine it with this one, right? And then we get a, a good track, right? So it's just a, a use of tables that I have. So I've got a bunch of like little skinny columns over here and then nice wide columns for my text. Now this started this started with just lyrics, right? Here, we, here we've got lyrics. If I want to make a table out of it, I can use a very handy command here called convert text to table. And it makes some assumptions, and we'll say OK for now. All right, so now it's made a one-column table. So columns are vertical, rows are horizontal. Each square is called a cell. So I've got that. And if I don't have that, um, this little toolbar in my version of Word, I could go to um, Table menu and then Convert, and then Text to Table would have been show, uh, would have shown up before. Now I could change it back to Text if I wanted to by by choosing this and it would just be regular text again but we're going to stick with this for now all right all right table layout i want to add columns now for my different um my different takes um these are kind of fat columns so let me get rid of these i'm going to make i'm going to make this a little thinner and then if I click here and I click on the right button, it's going to make columns that are the same size as the one that I just did. All right, let's add a header row to the top of it. So I'll click, I want a row above. See how there's the green above, right? The green shows you where the next thing is going to be. So I want run above. And um, so I'll say this is for lyrics. And then this is going to be, I hit tab to go to the next column. And then I'll do one. These are take numbers for five, six, seven, eight. Eight's good. All right. Um, then uh, I can format it. I can just go back here, format it like I'd format anything else. If I want it to be blue, light, light background color, go back to tables, shading, nice light background color here. And notice that this is blue. It stays blue. So if I add, uh, if I want something else to be blue, um, it will be, uh, I, I can just click that. So if I want this to be blue, I can click that and it will be that same exact shade, but I don't want that now. Now, um, let's put a header above that top row to clarify that um, those are take numbers. So table layout, I'm going to add a row above this. Now, I don't want these all these uh, individual cells over here. I want this to be one giant cell that I can I can center some text in. So I will select the whole thing, and I'm going to merge these together. So now it creates one giant cell out of all of them. Go back to home, and if I want to center it, I can just use a centering icon, and I can see tracks. All right. And so that's the basics of working with tables. And again, you can you can um, drag these bars here to change the layout of it. Um, use any of the text formatting icons to, to format um, you know the, the text that you've got in these cells. So maybe I want to have all these centered, for example. I can just click that. Um, but that um, is how you make tables, and there are uh, all kinds of uses for them. Very, very useful uh, word 